Hey everybody, I'm back. <laughs> it is still Monday, October 18th. Um, and for those of you that don't know me, my name is Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, ThreadUp, The Real Real. Um, and my day job, I am a business banking lending specialist um, and I work remotely from home which that is a new job for me um, <clears throat> prior to that I had been in um, retail banking since 1994 and I was a branch manager for the last 21 years so anyway um, enough about me what I have for you today is a designer box from ThreadUp um, I'm doing a second video today because um, I'm on vacation this week and I'm trying to get um, like my death piles and my boxes opened and filmed and um, this being the last designer box that I have sitting around I wanted to get it open in case there's anything that I want to send into the real real because I'm gonna do that this week as well um, Sorry, I'm still drinking coffee, even though it's one o'clock in the afternoon. But I wanted to complain about something, or vent, really. Um, so I sold this this piece on um, Poshmark, and it was something that had been lingering in my closet for quite some time. And I marked it down or sent out an offer to like her super cheap. I sold this piece for $8. And... Anyway, I probably sold the piece in the last month, all right? And I could swear that the person gave me a five-star review. So this morning as I'm scrolling through Poshmark and, you know, getting caught up and whatnot, I noticed that the review changed. And they changed it to three stars, and for reason, it just said other. No reason. They didn't type anything out. Didn't, you know, tell me what was wrong. And I'm, you know, I'm thinking there, it was a vintage piece, but there was no real flaws to it. So I decided I went back and looked who bought the piece. And I went to their Poshmark page. They're a reseller as well. And lo and behold, they have two postings, both using my pictures one listed for $27 and one listed for $25. And you know what? Honestly, look, I don't care. Um, I do this for fun. And yes, I like to make a little bit of money. But I also, when I sell stuff, I always leave room for others to make money too. You know, um, I'm not greedy in the least bit. But that really chapped my ass. You know, give me a shitty review don't tell me why you're giving me a shitty review. Then you repage it using my photos, which, you know, I um, did ask them to take them down, which they haven't yet. Um, and I did switch the thing, you know, so that people can't use my photos. And, you know, it, normally I wouldn't care, truly, you know, but don't give me a shitty review and then use my photos and then tote the, the item is excellent used condition, you know? Um, anyway, end rant. So, oh. and you know, I know nobody can see the bad reviews on Poshmark, but it's the principle of the thing. It really is, it's the principle of the thing. And you know, really and truly folks, I don't always expect five stars. Something, you might get something that, that it wasn't what you, you know, what you thought it was. And, and that's, I want that feedback. I want to know. So I would like to know really and truly why they changed that item to a three star. Give me a comment and tell me why, you know, um, just so that I can use it as a learning experience, you know, but for someone to say it, you know, give me three stars and then turn around and sell it on, jack up the price on it, you know, three times what they paid for it, which whatever. You know what? If they can get it, bless their hearts, you know. 
So anyway, I'm going to move on. Let's get into this designer box. Let's see what kind of goodies I have in here. It is from Swanee, Georgia. And then after this, you guys, no more video making today. I am going to spend the day getting the items listed um, from the fun boxes and then this whatever I decide to list from this box if I decide to list anything. All right, here we go. First item is this lovely Diane von Furstenberg and it's definitely, it's a size 10, so great size to have in my closet. Um, it's a silk shirt, definitely out of season. Um, I would say this is more of summer, spring, summer, kind of maybe even a nautical feel to it, but really, really cute. Um, I do see, there's, there is some boo-boos. I, I just believe this needs to be cleaned. Um, but anyway, that's the back of it. Front of it, I think it's a, I think, let me see, let's, we'll do this. I think this is a great little piece. And you know what, if it's still hanging around come springtime, I will most definitely snag this and wear it. Because I'm sure I'll fit into it by then. Next piece. What do we have? We've got white. But it is Prada, baby. We have a white Prada, size small. Oh, and I already see a spot on it. This is a long-sleeved tee. But in the back, it has... It's so, so cute. Look at that. It's got buttons down the back and a little split size small. I don't think I'm going to make it to that size if I do and I still have it. Yep. You know this label ho will wear it for sure. But there is a little spot on the back that I see. Um, you know, I can definitely try to get that out. I, I'm the laundry queen. So... Or I might just leave it alone. It's just, it, it's just barely noticeable. And if you've got long hair, no one will ever see it. So anyway, Prada, baby. Oh, I see shoes. You guys know how much I love shoes. Ugh. Okay. This next piece is Narcisco Rodriguez, made in Italy. We have this dress it is a dress zips up the back fully lined in what feels like silk oh it zips oh how sweet is that it zips all the way down to the bottom okay and yep she is fully lined zippers are great is there a size on you oh. please let there be a size on you okay this is what we're gonna do we are going to gently turn her inside out Definitely silk lined, but unfortunately there are no size tags. So I won't be able to send this piece into the real reel and I will have to rely on measurements, but I will get my niece over here to try this on for me and I can I can pretty much judge from how it fits on her approximately what size it is and I'll do measurements. Although I mean this looks this looks like a big like a large larger size. Maybe 
maybe like a 10 or something. And my niece is definitely not a 10. But anyway, I'll get somebody to try this dress on for me. Or one of the, one of the many teenagers that's trotting through my house um, on any given day. Okay, next up is... <coughs> Excuse me. Glasses. And I have come to realize I used to not like when I got these are Tiffany. Tiffany. I used to not like when I got glasses, especially if they were prescription glasses. But I am finding that people will buy them. These are absolutely gorgeous. This is Tiffany and Company, made in Italy. I mean, how cute are these? Um, wow. They're, they're definitely a prescription, and not my prescription either, but these are really, really cute. So, yes, I will be listing these in my Poshmark closet, most likely. Um, I don't know if I'll send them in to the real real or not. I, I sent in some Tom Fords that I got, but they rejected them. But I think that the reason they rejected them is because I found out later that there was more <laughs> than what I sent in. And I apologize, you guys, if you hear our house phone ringing in the background. Um, we, we're one of the last of the, you know, people with a landline, and all it does is ring all day long with um, spam calls. So, anyway. All right, so I have three pairs of shoes. First up, oh, man. Okay, these are Robert Clergy's made in France. Beautiful, beautiful brown suede shoes, but they're missing the heel caps. And I think that would cost me about 12 bucks to replace them. And I have a pair of boots by this brand in the same exact color. And they're not getting a whole lot of love. So I, I might list these as is for like 30 bucks or something and see what happens. But it's just not worth it for me to put the money into it to fix these. So let me know what you guys think. But these are going back in the box. All right, next up. Oh, we have Landvin, Landvin Paris. These um, babies are well worn and dirty. Won't be sending these into the real real. Um. I'm trying to find a size on them, but I bet you it was on the bottom and it's probably worn off. And I mean, they've actually worn that down almost to the nub. Definitely, definitely not finding a size. Um, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I do have some suede cleaner. I don't know that I want to practice on Landvin. Um, and it's got like this little snakeskin toe. I mean, because, I don't know. I mean, I feel like, I feel like a true label hoe would wear these still. Um, if I can clean them up a little bit. So I don't know, you guys tell me, what do you, 
what do you use to try to clean suede? Um, do you try to clean suede and do you think it's worth it for me to um, try to fool with these shoes? All right, last pair. I don't know what these are. Superstar. Oh, Golden Goose. Okay. Um, these look rather beat up to me. But I have, I have seen other um, posts and they actually um, look pretty beat up on the other posts. So the only thing is, again, I am not, oh, they're, it's a, they're a size 40. Okay, so it's embossed deep into the shoe but these are a size 40. Um, I don't know if I should try to clean these up, you guys, or if they're supposed to look like that. Somebody help me out. Um, there is a little wear on the back. There is a little heel drag back here. So, and a boo-boo on the star here. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I um, should I leave them as is? It, it appears these laces. I don't know if they're dirty or if they're gray. I don't know. I, I don't know that much about these. I do know that the ones that I've seen look pretty beat up and they're listed for hundreds of dollars. So it may be I may have a windfall in these shoes. I don't know. But I can't wait to find out. Um, so tell me, you guys, what do you think? What would you do with the brown suede uh, and the Landvins? I've never had Landvin before, so um, I don't know. And these Tiffany glasses are so cute. Anyway, I'm not a bad, you know what? Overall, I don't think it's a horrible box. I definitely think I definitely think I can make my money back off of it so and I got Prada baby y'all know how I love my Prada and I got some butt scratch and ugly sneakers that might be worth a, a small fortune so yeah I'm happy <laughs> all right you guys um Probably, well, for sure, no more videos for me today. I am going to spend the rest of the day. I'm actually waiting for the cleaning lady. She was supposed to be here between 11 and 12. It's after 1. Hopefully she's coming. Because um, it's looking pretty dusty around here. And the floor is really, and I don't want to have to do it. But anyway, I, I digress. Um, so... I do not believe I have any additional thread up boxes to open. Um, I believe I've opened them all and I did not order any last week. And the only thing I ordered, I do have a jean box coming. So I will have a jean box um, from Goodwill Hall to record this week. And I will also do a combined Goodwill of the two trips that I made um, to my local Goodwill. And um, I don't know if you guys noticed this bag in the background, but we will, we will talk about, you know, don't give, don't pressure yourself. Um, take your time and look because, you know, Unfortunately, in the reselling business, you have to pay to play. I paid, and she's fake. And so, anyway, this we'll talk more about in, in 
the upcoming videos this week. I, I, it'll probably be closer to the end of the week. Like I said, I'm working on listing, getting some stuff sent out to the real real, some things set out, sent out to thread up. You'll notice in my closet that I actually marked a lot of stuff not for sale. I, um, cleaning out my closet y'all and adding new things as I get them. So stay tuned. Um, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for the support on my weight loss journey. Um, I don't really necessarily have any new updates except for, um, no, I don't really have anything, anything brand new. I haven't weighed myself, probably won't weigh myself till midweek. Um, I did score a pair of jeans, brand new with tag, Old Navy, size 16s. I have not gotten up the guts to try them on yet, but I will, because if they don't fit, um, and if I don't think they're going to fit, they'll go up for sale. But anyway, thank you again for watching, everybody. Peace out.